Greetings and salutations! Welcome back to my movie store. How you going? Here is all the new watches and rewatches that I watched in July. Oh, this one actually surprised me. This one's Australian, and it was in 2011, and it was on Tubi, and it was actually pretty decent. She's a news person. It's recording the whole time. I kind of think of it like that wreck movie. Um, very same vein, but pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah, The Guilty. I used to work at a video shop obviously. I remember a lot of movies just purely by their poster. I remember this one specifically because it had a bad cover on our DVD. I don't know why. I never found that out. This movie is from 2000. That's Bill Pullman. That is Devin Sauer. And Gabrielle Anwar is also in this. I'm not sure why I never saw this back in the day because it has Devin Sauer and when I'm obsessed with someone I tend to follow them so I don't know why this one slipped under my radar. It was pretty decent but very of its time. <laughs> but I really must say that the casting of having Bill Pullman and Devin Sauer as father and son, nice. That was a really good casting. The Stepford Wives, also on Tubi. I had a big Tubi binge apparently at the beginning of the month. Anyway, this is the OG, the 75 version. I actually like this version better than the Nicole Kidman version. Now, I've tried the Nicole Kidman version very many times. I, well, excuse me. The poster just fell, sorry. Uh, there's definitely moments that, like, you know, it's funny and I like it, but it's so not right. But this one was actually pretty cool. With my whole horror list at the moment, I also want to read the book of this and then compare the two movies again after I read the book. So I will re revisit after I read the book. But I did like this one better than the um, weird Nicole version. But she also did a weird version of Bewitched. What's up with her and the weird versions? Hmm. The Boy too. I actually like The Boy One, and not just because Lauren Conrad's in it, and she's gorgeous, and she's from Walking Dead. I wanted to like this because Katie Holmes is in it, and I thought the original story was actually pretty decent. What happened? Why Why did you change it? It would have been so much better to continue the original story. Like, what happened? Why? 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 Seriously, why? So this one was a no. Like, it's not the worst. I I probably will revisit because, you know, these movies are fun. But yeah, I'm really ticked off that they changed the story. I don't know why. And I'm still questioning why. Pulse. <laughs> oh, gosh. Not even my sweet, sweet Ian Summerholder could save this one. This one was from 2006. I found it on Prime Video. Yes, Ian Summerholder is in it. And also Kristen Bell. But it's not just me. I'm going to let Forgetting Sarah Marshall take this one. It was the right choice for them at the time. <laughs> Byzantium. This I found on Prime. It's from 2012. It has Saoirse Ronan and Gemma Anterton, and I actually really liked it. It was so sweet. They're vampires. I love vampire movies. And I also appreciate a good bloodbath. <laughs> But I really like Gemma Anderton. She's in Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, which I really like, and it is a good movie. But yeah, this was a really sweet movie and one of my favorites of the month. Rewatches of 90210 and Charmed, and first watch of The Rendering. Unfortunately, July brought us the sad, sad passing of Shannon Doherty. I've been having a bit of a hard time with this one. I am a huge fan of hers and in my life pretty much every day. Like I, I saw her on Instagram. I do do Charmed rewatches a lot that's constantly on in my house. Um, I listen to her podcasts. I, I, yeah, I'm, I really miss her. And so I was trying to kind of saturate myself with her a little bit. I watched this movie, um, Mallrats. 
This movie was really sweet. She's such a great actress. Like, seriously, just find all the Shannon you can and just watch her. But I strongly recommend all the Charmed rewatches that you can. I watched the documentary Quiet on Set. I hate people. American Mary. This movie is from 2012. I found it on Tubi as well. This movie was pretty freaking awesome. It has Catherine Isabel in it. Now you'll recognize her from Ginger Snaps, but also that Supernatural episode with that girl who was awesome, who should have been a regular, and you were like, hey, this girl feels like a regular and she should be a regular, but she wasn't a regular and she was only in two episodes because they wrote her really badly. Yes, I have issues on this. She should have been. That that storyline was a whole season work. She was awesome. I'm just, I'm just, that's, I'm finishing there. I swear. This movie was actually pretty awesome. Unfortunately, it has some little tiny bit of torture porn and a little bit of body dysmorphic stuff that I'm not really into. So it's gonna not be a rewatchy kind of movie for me, but it has some pretty cool fantasy scenes, <laughs> but it was actually pretty cool. I really did like this. Truth or Death. This one was from 2018. This one was on Netflix and it was pretty okay. Pretty cute. Very cute. Saint Maud. This one was from 2019. This one I bought on Apple TV. Now this one is on the list for all my horror movies and it's also the same director as Love, Lies and Bleeding, which I loved. So I had to check it out and this was awesome. <coughs> for a little spoil, um, just, just, and I'm happy to spoil these if, if anybody wants anything spoiled, but like just the, the, the last, the last little second. <laughs> I'm just a little bit sadistic. <laughs> that Girl. That Girl is a TV show from 1966 starring Marlo Thomas and I saw it on Tubi. This is a super cute show but I've been wanting to check it out ever since. I saw Phoebe rocking the That Girl shirt in Friends. Anything that someone's wearing on a shirt I have to check out. Also, later Marlo Thomas played Rachel Green's mother in Friends too. <laughs> She also rocks up on uh, Laura and Order SVU sometimes, but I really thought this was such a sweet show and she's just awesome and gorgeous, of course. But what a good mother and daughter matching because doesn't she really resemble Rachel Green too? <laughs> Feud, Capote versus the Swans. There's so many streaming services, it's taking me a second. This one's on Binge. So the first Feud series that's on Disney that I checked out, I absolutely adored. So of course I was going to check this one out as well. I like, look at the cast. You can't honestly go wrong. It's, it's stellar. It's everything you want it to be in more. And apart from Charmed rewatches, I've been on my yearly Jessica Jones rewatch. Yearly. Look, it's on in my house a lot. Personally, um, I really love Jessica Jones. All three seasons are freaking awesome. And I just like to bring awareness back to it every once in a while because more people should watch it and often and a lot, please. Because it's awesome. <laughs> so that was my July. The Byzantium, America Mary and St. Maud being the standouts this month. But there were really no real duds. I mean, I didn't love Pulse, but I wouldn't say it was like as bad as some other movies I've watched. <laughs> but anyway, did you watch any of these? How is your month going? And I hope you have a good month, but really I'd rather do ramble.